check this out. The box is literally hanging off. It's broken the welds. I'm gonna have to weld this back on tonight. We can't drive like that. Good morning. We're about to hit the road again. We stayed just outside this little campground last night. It was this cute little rustic campground. Christian's camp. I just wanted to show you quickly, do a little brief tour before we head off because it's so cute. Check this out. It's just in the middle of the mountains. It's like a little restaurant area. This is a little toilet and shower. There's loads of dogs around. Hey, you want a belly scratch? Oh, yeah. Yeah, check this out. This is where we showered last night. <laughs> I was having to pass Raya her shampoos and scrubbers and stuff in. So good. So this is another spot for climbing apparently a lot of climbers stay here i guess this whole kind of stretch down kind of the east of the mountain range in northern mexico is well known for climbing anyway we um we, we're not staying for long so we're about to head out it's going to be interesting uh getting the bus out of here that was very tight driving in last night right this dog wants to say goodbye hi it's so cute hello it's so cute <laughs> No, you can't come up here, because you're a little bit dusty. It's so cute. But we love you. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Bye. Goodbye. I love you. Okay, we've just got to get the bus ready to go. Got all our little bungees holding things on. Move this cupboard here. Uh... We've been taking the metal things off the top of the stove because the it's roads so are very bumpy. This is where it gets tricky is making these sharp turns. These tiny towns. Still traffic on the highway, so Raya is making us some uh, peanut butter on toast whilst we wait. Wow, this is solid traffic. Oh, it's completely stationary. It's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> the other issue we have is the brakes on this bus are controlled by air tanks and uh, I think one of the air tanks is leaking because I'm running out of brake pressure really easily and there's a, like, a little alarm that goes off so we might need to get that looked at this is the air tank pressure for the brakes and it should be when the engine's running like up here somewhere and see that alarm I mean hear that alarm that's because it's going into this red area where you shouldn't be driving when it's still beeping, so I'm not quite sure what to do. Yeah. Oh, okay, the brakes have got really bad now, and I've messaged my friend who also has a school bus, Jax, and he recommended that we get this looked at as soon as possible because you don't want your air brakes failing so um, 
Ryan's found a truck repair place about 50 miles away. And uh, I guess we're gonna have to stop there and get this looked at. I'm hoping something's just come loose on the bumpy roads and we can just fit it, but who knows. I've also put the AC back on because it's getting warm and I've uh, adapted it so it's shooting air straight down to me because it was just shooting across the ceiling and I wasn't really feeling it but I've just got uh, one of our registration plates and bent it around and it's channeling cold air right onto my head and it's amazing. We've just been pulled over by the police. And then the second guy was like, nah, let's go. <laughs> right, we've still got 30 minutes till we get to the um, the place with the, that can fix our brakes so, though. And I'm a little bit nervous. So the main highways, most of them are toll roads, which just means they're better roads and safer, I guess. But it means like every now and again we have to stop and pay money. And the other day we didn't have any pesos, but we have pesos now. Hundred and fifty-one pesos. Gracias. Okay, we have pulled up at this mechanics. I've kind of roughly tried to show him what's going on. He doesn't speak English. I pointed at the air tank gauge and underneath where the air's leaking and I think he understands so he said he's gonna have lunch and then in five minutes come back and help us I think that's what's going on so hopefully we'll it works yeah how are you feeling yeah I'm feeling good we're not gonna be able to make it as far as we hope today but we might have to find the gas station to sleep at which yeah. is fine it's all part of the bus life adventure you found the problem we didn't change this you need to replace it? We need to change. Change, okay. Can you do today? Yes. Perfect. He's diagnosed the problem. He needs to change the air compressor. We have just parked up in the mechanics. I'll show you the air compressor that they're replacing. I'm hoping this is the only problem, but this is what I heard lots of air leaking out of and he just told me yeah this needs replacing so hopefully that's the problem and it can get us fixed today. Hopefully in the next like hour it would be amazing. I thought I would just have a quick little check-in while we're waiting at the mechanics and I don't know kind of just chat about the last few days um, it's so I was actually just laughing about this earlier how like everything seems to be breaking at once most of the stuff in fact pretty much all of it has never been an issue the whole time we were driving across the US where we were in a country where we spoke the language and like knew where to go if things happened and of course the second we enter a new country like everything breaks at once but I'm honestly really proud of us and I mean one that we've just been able to figure it out but more importantly that we've been able to stay really calm throughout it and I think um, maybe in the past I would have like gotten really stressed out and yeah, this, this is basically the recipe for a very stressful situation, but I'm really proud of how we've been reacting so far and um, it feels like we've been like a team trying to figure this out, which feels really good. And what else? Yeah, I guess I've just been loving Mexico so far. It's completely different from what I expected. Like I mentioned in one of the other videos, I've only ever been to Mexico to like the coast, which is very tropical and beachy and humid and now we're basically driving through desert so of course it makes sense Mexico's huge and it's right under um, like <laughs> the deserts in America so it makes sense that that same climate continues for a while but it's just really cool to see this part of Mexico where maybe we never really would have come here before or like we wouldn't probably ever like fly here and just explore this area so the fact that we get to see it while we're driving through is just really cool i guess it's just one of my favorite things about road trips that you get to see 
so many places in between like your destination places that you may have never seen otherwise so yeah it's just really cool and then we have a very very exciting announcement I'm hoping that this upload lines up perfectly but by the time that you're watching this we should be a couple of days away from our van course launching I know that so many of you out there either want to do van life full-time maybe move into a vehicle or maybe you want to get something like for weekend road trips or something or maybe you just want to go on a holiday and rent a van and experience van life for a few weeks um, whatever you want to do this course is perfect for you and it is super accessible it's only $59 plus we're gonna over the next few months continually do um, live conversations with the people in the course so if you have any specific questions about your vans or anything that you want to ask us about van life this is the place to be on the live calls and we're gonna have some calls with different experts specific people who build out vans so you can ask them specific questions people who do van life solo you can ask them specific questions um, yeah we just really want to make this like as accessible as possible to all of you all over the world that want to do this because for me moving into vehicles has truly been like the ultimate freedom not only are we not paying any rent or mortgage um, and we're about to go park up on our land and just have a tiny house already which is amazing but we just get to explore the world and like literally wake up in a different place every day and to have been able to do it in Europe over the summer and all through America and now into Central America I mean like I said there's so many places that we never ever would have seen or visited if we weren't doing van life so I just love it I'm like the biggest proponent for van life and any of you out there that are interested at all go check it out also because it's on pre-sale over the next I think two or three days you get to have 20% off with the code early bus so use this code get 20% off the course and yeah just can't wait to see you guys in there it's cool I guess with the live calls we can almost start like a little community in there and all get to know each other and maybe like meet up if we're all doing van life all over the world um, but yeah anyway I think that's everything <laughs> This has turned into like a little diary section back here, but I mean, we're gonna be waiting here for at least another hour, so thought I would just chat to you guys quickly. Uh, yeah, okay, thank you all so much. Thank you for supporting us as well. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm so excited to be bringing this out. This is the first time we've ever launched a product like this, and it just couldn't really be more perfect <laughs> with all, of, obviously, all of our content and everything we've been doing the last year. So, thank you all so much for supporting us and being there for us, and hope to see you in there. Okay, little update. I think we've been here for an hour now, so I think we must have arrived here about 2.30. The guy has told me the replacement part isn't going to be getting in for another, I guess, hour or so and he thinks it will be fitted for us to leave here at 5pm. So that has wiped out most of our afternoon of driving. But that's okay, we'll find somewhere to park up. Um, Raya's making lunch, she's making her salads and sandwiches. So delicious. Thanks. Let's see if we can get to this gas station before it gets dark, because we should not be driving in the dark. Okay. So we've um, we've found somewhere to park for the night, and I um, I saw that these trucks had parked down here. So I went down this little ramp, not realising the ramp 
was just at a bad angle and um, these big boxes I've had welded on the back here on the other side check this out the box is literally hanging off it's broken the welds and uh, I'm gonna have to weld this back on tonight because uh, we can't drive like that and it really sucks I mean I can see other trucks going down there but I guess uh, I've just got really low clearance at the back here because of the overhang so uh, yeah that's my evening cut out for me oh so annoying I was ready just to, to wind down and relax but it's probably a couple of hours of work to fix this right I've hoisted the box back into position I've uh, put this strap around it connected it to there and and tightened it underneath so that's held in place now my next plan is to get a hammer hammer that back in maybe I'll need to clamp it or something and then uh, bust out the welder and maybe strengthen some of these joints and I might leave the strap on just to make sure at least till we get to the next place but I think I might have done it. Repairs are completed, just in time for dinner. What have you cooked tonight? Um, I guess like a Buddha bowl of just all the different things. We have mushrooms, broccoli, quinoa, this is a just egg, um, tomatoes, kale, some vegan sausages, some cabbage in there, vegan parmesan, bit of everything really. <sighs> so ready. <laughs> okay, right. After all of the um, shenanigans last night, we slept here at this uh, petrol station and we have woken up very early. It's just on 7 a.m. It's very early for me. Made a little coffee. We're just waiting to fuel up. And then we are racing against the clock this morning to get to our friend Kamenel's place. Uh, it's three hours away and that's driving at car speeds so uh, and then they need to head out so we've got to get there so I'm hoping we can fill up soon see dudes come in come and see my handiwork so this was like fully hanging off at one point but this is the main weld I did and then a weld on the other side and then strapped it on it's looking good it's ready for the road Scenario, I can always reverse back up if we go down the street, which I can't go down. I'll um, show you the damage. Ryan's a bit upset. Basically, all of our plates flew out of this cupboard and smashed, and the one mug that she loves the most. It's from her school, smashed into a million pieces. So, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to glue this back together. I'm gonna to try. Um, I've come in here to try and clean it all up. It's good to know though, I think it's situations like this, where you're like, okay, we have to have elastic things here to stop those flying open. 
We've done a pretty good job on all the other cupboards, but these guys need them. All right, I'm gonna clean up. Thank you.